Hi y'all, it's Beth here and today I am sharing with you another what I've melted this week. I cannot believe how quickly the weeks are flying by. It's just so crazy. Like the summer is already almost halfway over. Where has the time gone? There's only one week left and then the summer is halfway over and then, you know, time to go back to school. Um, so that is just wild to me. I cannot believe it. Time just flies by way too fast, but also I'm so excited to get back in the classroom. It's really just like a bittersweet kind of thing where your body needs rest, but then you're also just so excited to start fresh, to have, you know, a brand new class, brand new kids to get to know and teach to read and you know it's just so exciting oh when they start reading it's so exciting so anyways I am going to start because you guys don't want to hear about my professional life so anyways this one is uh my what I melted video and I'm going to start with the candles first so I do have a candle that I emptied this one is in the scent champagne toast and the notes are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and sweet orange. This scent, I love it. I have another one as a backup um, that, you know, I will be able to start warming soon. So very excited to have gotten through one, but also to know that I have one on standby. And then two that I worked on this week, but I didn't finish up this first one is strawberry pound cake which yes I was able to get two new strawberry pound cakes I placed an SAS order online because my stores I went to them like four times and they didn't have it and I was like you know what I'm just gonna place an online order and I ordered two in case if one came broken then I would know I had another one or in case if you know they both came not broken which that was the case none of my candles broke so good news there um if both of them came not broken then i would have two because i know that i love the scent anyways i know it's our fresh picked strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream and i actually um burned this one at the same time that i had happy birthday melting from scentsy it was amazing if you have those two scents and want to combine them it was just you know so good and then the last candle that I have that I worked on this past uh, couple of days is Island Margarita. And this one, the notes are Sweet Mandarin, Island Mango, and Sea Salt. I have to, have to, have to have one of these every single summer. It's so good. I love it. I would highly recommend giving that one a try. If you haven't tried it before, it is so good. Um, super fruity and summery. That's it for the candles and now we'll talk about empties and I actually have five empties. Um, as you guys know, the end of the month is where I kind of go through and use those partially used up things to try to get as many empties as I can to reach my monthly goal of 15 empties or more per month. So um, I have five from this week. So first off from Rose Girls, this is in the scent Tea and Cakes. I love this scent. It was really time for me to finish it up because it's over two years old. As you can see from the date sticker, it's from April 26th of 2021. It still performs. I know if it was newer, it would be it would have been stronger, but it still did perform after, you know, holding on to it for this long, which is very impressive. I love this scent and when it returns, um, I will definitely reorder it because I love, love, love tea and cakes. It's so good. And then the rest of my empties are all from Scentsy. So yeah, and I think all of these I'm keeping in my club for now. So that's very exciting. And let's go ahead and just talk about them. First off is Southern Sweet Tea from Scentsy. This one, the notes are peach, orange juice, and white tea. And the scent was really good, strong to medium performer. And it's just a really refreshing, nice iced tea scent. Um, 
yeah, I really enjoyed it and I'm going to keep it in my club for at least a little bit. And then the next one, this one is Happy Birthday. The notes are sugar, vanilla extract, and whipped cream. So no real like cake note in this, um, at least per the scent description, but it's a really, really good scent. Um, it does give off kind of that like impression of a cake scent at least like the first few hours that it's warming and then it just turns into like this really decadent sweet scent to me so I really enjoyed this one and I'm gonna keep it in my club and then this next one is white out the notes are peppermint pine and golden apple this one I was kind of like debating uh after I melted it the first time I was like do I want to club it do I not want to club it um, I did decide to club it and then around Christmas time I'll decide if I want to keep it even though like it's going to go back to warmer weather or do I want to remove it from my club. So yeah this one was good but if I had to make club cuts it would probably be one of the first ones to go. And then the last empty that I have this one is in the scent Cherry Vanilla. The notes are cherry, almonds, and white chocolate ice cream. So I enjoy this one. However, uh, if I compared it to maraschino sugar cookie, I like maraschino sugar cookie so much more. I get way better performance from that one. This one is strong, but it dies down pretty fast for me in my house. Whereas maraschino sugar cookie goes on and on for a while. So... Yeah, I don't have maraschino sugar cookie in my club. I do have two bricks in that scent. But I'm going to keep this one in my club because it does remind me a lot of maraschino sugar cookie. They both have that same type of cherry and that same type of base. Um, but if maraschino sugar cookie were to become a catalog scent or return as a scent of the month or something like that from the Christmas bricks from this past year then I would replace this one in my club with maraschino sugar cookie, which I just love. I I really regret not having maraschino sugar cookie in my club. I wish I had made an exception to my Scentsy Club rule for that one. If you're new here and you don't know my rules for my Scentsy Club, um, my rules is that I only put scent of the months or bring back my bars in my Scentsy Club. Nothing else, no limited time offer, like, of the month-long collections or whatever. Like, none of that stuff goes in my club because I just have to put some parameters around my club. Nothing from the regular catalog that I'm afraid isn't going to come back next year. I cannot do all that. I really want to keep my club to $150 or less. So, because of that, I have to have these rules set for myself. And I've been following them so far and I've been doing good. But if maraschino sugar cookie comes back, that one would replace cherry vanilla in my club for sure. Okay, this next one is a scent that I'm actually going to declutter the, um, what I have left of it. I'm going to give it away in my neighborhood giving group. This one is Plum and White Woods and I melted uh, I melted four cubes and I have four cubes left and I'm just not going to warm these. This scent isn't my favorite. I was really excited about it because I thought maybe it would remind me a little bit of Sweet Plum Pastry. Um, but the performance on it just wasn't great and then on top of that I'm just like, you know, on cold it's not really a scent that I absolutely love. The notes on this one are Raspberry Preserves, Plum, and Vanilla Orchid. And yeah, it smells nice, but it's just not a favorite for me. And then if the performance is not where it should be, like I'm not going to give it more time to cure to decide if I'm going to keep it in my club. I'm just going to remove it from my club and give the rest to somebody else who might enjoy it more than me. And then this one, this one is definitely going to be in my club. It is amazing. This one is Hemingway. The notes are apples, cedar, sandalwood, and spice. And it's that cedar. That is why I love this one so much. I melted four cubes in my open concept. I still have four cubes left, so that's enough for one more warm. 
and oh it is so good and that cedar is so strong in this one literally i put it in one half of the house in the open concept downstairs and it traveled all the way over to the other side of the open concept and it lasted i kid you not it was i've been changing out my wax every day over the summer but this one i just could not get myself to take out i left it in for three whole days um it was just so so good i loved it so definitely one i'll be clubbing and keeping in there for a while um next up we'll do the one more scent i did downstairs then we'll talk about the two bedroom scents so this one is from the melting mousse this is in southern sweet tea i love this scent it is so good um and then in the bedroom i had l3 waxy wonders violet sugar petals mallow fluff vanilla wafer in the scoopable so my sister really doesn't like this one i love it she tells me that it reminds her of like baby motrin or something like that the liquid kind i think is what she said i don't get that i just get an amazing relaxing scent i absolutely love it um but i'll try you know to be very sparing of how often i melt that one just because i know that it's not a favorite of hers and then the last one that i have to talk to you guys about this one is from that smell good shop in the scent cinderella and i really love this one the notes are pink sugar lavender and linens it's so good i would definitely recommend it and definitely will repurchase it in the future um because it's just absolutely amazing and that is everything y'all that i have to share with you let me know in the comments down below if you've melted any of these and what your thoughts are or what have you been melting this week i will see you guys next time and as always make sure you stay positive till then bye